day, guys. Make sure to check out my other channels, Gun Vids for You and Watch Your Vlogs. And make sure to subscribe and like this video. Hey guys, this is what you're looking at, and today I am doing another Aries LMG video. Today we will be elongating the wires in my gun and on my box magazine. I mean, not my box magazine, but my battery. That way, instead of having a stick battery in the gun, I can just have a fairly nice sized battery in the bottom. I think I can fit up to a 3000 milliamp sky lipo. I only have a 2200 milliamp sky lipo on hand. But as you see, just showing you what I'll be doing. I have uh, two sets of wires, both of them are roughly three inches long and that's going to make this wire long enough to where the deans can come out and my buckle can still snap into place. That way this wire will tend to be right, right about this area. And then on the gun itself, this wire will be a little bit more further down here. That way I can also wire this to deans like my Sky Lipo. So when it's all put together, it'll. I'm just going to use the two red wires, but as you can see, I'll have more than enough slack. So uh, hopefully this will be a pretty good setup, and we'll see what my results yield. Okay guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Okay guys, so here we go. Uh, first step, we're going to do the battery first. Okay. See if I can untangle these wires. Of course, as always, when you're dealing with a battery, one wire at a time, or you will pretty much make your battery useless. So here we go. One's cut. Now I'm just going to get a very small piece of duct tape I have on the side. Electrical tape's better, but it's what I have. I know, amazingly, I'm out of some type of tape. It's always good just to keep that wire out of the way as much as you can. Then, y'all know by now, I'm going to cut off the wire. Hopefully I'm in good frame here. Tend the wire with some solder. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to get our first extension on the wire. We're going to tin that also. And keep in mind, I am using minimal tools here. Okay. Okay, once you got your wires together, then you're just going to go ahead and put your shrink wrap on. And I'm just going to go ahead and stop the camera now. And when you see it again, the red and the black wire are going to be attached with shrink wrap. And then we're going to put the Danes on. Okay, guys. So here we go. This wire is elongated. This one's elongated. Now I'm going to tape the black one back down. And now we're going to attach the red one to the original Danes connector. Okay, so here we go. Attaching the red wire to our Danes connector. I don't know why, but I always find the positive wire to be harder than the negative wire to attach. Okay. I just attached the shrink wrap. I'm going to put a little bit more solder on the connector. Okay. Okay, put that cool off. Okay, so our battery's done. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the battery in the bottom of our mag. We're gonna make sure it's a good fit. We're gonna fit the uh, the lipo charging wire back in there. Okay, so it goes all the way up. and the buckle goes into place. So I'm just going to come around here somehow. So that's what it looks like now. Pretty good to go. Uh, now we're going to do the gun. 
Okay guys, so here we go. I've already got the wires tended and now we are elongating the wires that actually attach on the gun. So hopefully I do this without burning myself. Okay. I'm hoping this is a successful connect because wow, putting these wires that are in the gun. Okay, but that's a good enough connection. So heat shrink. Okay, now our red wire. I'm gonna angle the camera back down. I should help. Okay, now the red wire is hopefully attached. We're gonna give it a second or two. Of course, always check our connections before we just throw a gun back together. You know what that will have to do? Looks decent enough. Now, our positive and negative wires have been elongated. Now hopefully for an easier part than that we're going to go ahead and attach our last Dean's connector to the wires of the gun. Okay so here we go make sure your shrink wraps are on your wires and as always let's do the positive wire first Okay. okay. There we go, I just needed more slack. Okay, make sure the connection stays good, let it cool down. If I'm holding it down, I like to count to ten. Make sure everything is good. So uh, now I'm going to angle up the camera just a bit. So here we go. Uh, make sure all your wires are out of the way. As I said, I took my barrel out. You know, you're, if you have the barrel out, probably makes it easier to solder if you have it in. Probably makes it easier to keep the wires unjammed. But uh, there we go. Wires are not jammed at all. Just check to make sure and then keep in mind both have to go through the middle piece right here the the whatever actually feeds the the belt on the real gun so then you close that your connector is going to stay on this side your wires are going to go out matter of fact let's go ahead and connect the magazine in so we can actually put the belt on and connect the belt so once that's all in close your dust cover and we effectively have a, ma a battery in the magazine so there you go let me go ahead and put the stock on and this should be a good setup uh, I'm going to go test shoot it real quick just to make sure the rate of fire is good and we're actually getting a connection. Now we're going to see how it shoots. This is a 7.4 2200 milliamp battery. Okay, so uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, rate of fire is where it needs to be. That's what I was expecting with the battery. And trigger response ain't bad either. So, uh, pretty good. Okay guys, I'm happy with the results. Uh, you'll probably not see the entirety of what I did to get to this wiring because I think I got like 20 minutes of footage. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a What You Looking At Aries LMG tip, and I'm out.